Skype. Hmm, for hardcore adventure gamers. Casual gamers hints could be taken. Whenever they're available. Oh, let's go that one. Men of broader intellect know that there is no sharp distinction betwixt the real and the unreal. Wellsmoth Mental Institution. They say that I am mad. They said the two locals found me in the morning, seven miles from the town of Windlaps. I was laughing and muttering meaningless gibberish to myself. I was cursing and arguing with myself. A raving madman with burning eyes, lost in the dark depths of his own merciful delirium. They say that I had been searching for a particular grave in the local cemeteries. They were right. If you knew whose grave it was, you would understand. So my behavior, which seemed abnormal, had nothing to do with madness. You must understand that. If you knew what had happened to me, then you would, I promise, also understand the reasons for my behavior. It all started on that cold November day. That was when I was given the case of the fugitive suspect, Loth Nolder, a man whose intelligence I greatly admired. He had returned after five years of traveling to bizarre locations and had become the primary murder suspect in the first case he took on. It was Loth Nolder who left Wellsmouth those five years ago, but was he the same man who returned? That's the question. This I will leave to the judgment of the readers of these notes. They tell me that I've been here in the Wellsmouth Mental Institution for two weeks now. Is it really that long? I cannot say. I do not remember the first eight days. The doctors tell me I am making progress. I think they are lying. It takes me longer every day to remember where I am, even who I am, after I wake up from the dreams. That is why it is essential to keep these notes as yeah, I struggle I'd to like convince to. myself that I am really mad. Because before the night that I was found, I looked into the deepest wells of madness more than any man alive. Right. Yes, I am definitely mad. I must be. Because everything I have seen, yeah. I have seen through the eyes of insanity's omnipresent soul. Door, there's no handle on it. Well, there's no handle on that one either. Let's go forward. Um. Ooh. There's writing on there. What does this mean? Who drew all of this graffiti? It's a cell. What a beautiful room. Oh really? Reminds me of somewhere. <gasps> Fuck me. Oh no. Did this. What? Locked. Wait. Wow, well, I think we just woke up from a dream. Oh, another nightmare. What's going on with these dreams I've been having lately? So vivid. Almost as if they were real. Oh, where's this goddamn phone? Uh, can I get up? Thank you. 
There it is. Wrong one. That one. Uh, right click the mouse to toggle the, toggle the infantry window. Oh no. Howard, where are you? I've been calling you for hours. I was home. Why? What's the problem? Loth Nolder escaped from the hospital last night. I've been calling you for hours with the news. Oh. Strange. I never heard the phone. Check your answering machine. I left several messages. Anyway, what happened with Loth? No one knows. It's like he just vanished out of the place overnight. Okay. I'm on my way in now. Howard, are you feeling all right? <sighs> just a little tired, Arthur. I must have overslept last night. Nothing to worry about. Okay. I'll see you soon. Oh. Um. To read clues, click Howard's mind button on the infantry power panel. Then click on the clue to read. Is the his mind? And click on the clue. Oh, okay. So what's this? Well, that's the right. And what's that? Uh, I assume that's the inventory. Okay, so. How do we get out? Oh, another right click. Uh, I don't think we need to listen to them, do we? Is it was oh, anything in there? There are times when even the howlings of the fearful sirens are not enough to affect one, and there are such times when even the withered moon that is hidden behind a cloud can affect and shatter a life, which is in the darkness of a cave. Hmm. Illusions of myths that are long forgotten affect and dominate the imagination unexpectedly. Thus, some people imagine primordial forests in which thousands of unknown life forms are living. Dark cities where life ended eons ago. And deserts where the highest towers of those dark cities now are no more than simple pieces of rock revealing only very tiny portions, like the tip of an iceberg. They wander in vast crypts which are full of the permanent smell of death, and in places where one can remember that beauty and splendour had once existed, proving that no beauty and splendour can exist forever. And some folk observe fascinating and dreadful details which others miss. Even in these details are sufficient to make them crazy. Who can understand their meanings? But these details are carved into the minds of the ones who deliberately miss them and in time they change into myths which in turn induce consultation. Sometimes the past that should be dead shows itself cruelly in an instant in hallucinations and enchanted dreams. In such situations a person can only have peace when he forgets everything. The fundamental thing is that really time is the only friend of forgetfulness forgetfulness, friendships are not eternal. Peace is a luxury that can be attained through eternal sleep. For those who do not have Nepenthe Edwin Pickman hmm. What else we got? Oh, that's a lot of reading. Okie dokie. How do we get off that now? Ah, oh, right click. Um, can't see a damn thing in here. Um, go away. Thank you. Can I close that again? No. Oh yes. Right. One of the paintings by a young and famous paint 
Last year he died in a tragic car accident. Bright future ahead of him. Right. Right, that's the clock. Oh, I assume we're late. Are we dressed? I don't know. Um, gosh, we do stand next to the wall a lot, don't we? Right, that's the door out. And... We're standing in a single... Oh, that's the door out. There's another door there. Oh, no! Stop it. Right. I'm stuck. When you click on something by accident, you've got to uh, do it again. What's behind this door? Oh, it's another room. Um, which, which one did we come out of? Oh, it's the bathroom. Uh, damn it, it's dark in here. Sorry about that. When you gotta go, you gotta go apparently. Corridor again. All right. Um. Can we go in this one? Oh, are we in somebody else's house? This could be a bit awkward. No, we come back into our own house again. you come in. <coughs> no. Right. Uh. So we want to go through that door? No. So we come out of that door, yeah? Right. Is this... That's just a window. Oh wait. Can I uh... I'm so forgetful these days, I forgot my car keys. Oh, right. Gotta find a car keys. Um. Which one was our room? I don't think it was this one. I think it was that one. No? That one? No! So can we go in that one? Why can't we go in that one? Right. Oh, 
Okay, we've got to find car keys. Can we open a drawer? Ah, here we go. Is that car keys? Gosh, it's so dark in here. Coins, can we take coins? Hmm. Anything else? No. Right. We've got car keys now, I think. Yeah, car keys. Ah, here we are, we're outside. This office has been mine since I was promoted to police detective. Wellsmith. Huh? Never much happening here. Just run-of-the-mill cases and paperwork to catch up on. That's my normal working day. But not with this case. I've got to admit, it's been good to be dealing with something a little out of the ordinary for once. Right. Now, I did turn off the music. So you will have music in this game, but I did look at the, uh, the the sounds and it's on full, so it's just the loudest it gets. Um, is there anything to look at? Let's go forward, see what there is. These are investigation pictures taken at Loth Nolder's office. There was nothing there when we first searched the place. Right. I have examined the place several times since then, but couldn't find any clues. Okay. That office is the only property Nolder owns. He even sold his house to help pay for his strange travels around the world. Hmm. So why didn't he sell his office as well? I think I'd better take these pictures with me. Maybe there's something here we're not seeing. Yeah, you want to sell your house keep your office that doesn't seem that seems a bit weird click the examine screen button on the inventory pattern um, the picture taken to the oh yeah examine Oh, there they right click the item. Well, it's a bit small. Click on the arrow icons on the side to rotate them horizontally or vertically. Right. Okay. Oh. What about this one? Uh, how do you put it back? How about this one? Right. Okay, is there any way of making it bigger? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? This is a game and a half, isn't it? Right, okay. Let's uh, find something else to look at. Register a death, Clark Field. Uh, cause of death, suffocation. Informant is a Morris Digger. Mm. Oh, well. Don't think that's very relevant. Ah, we've got a map. Shall we uh, go to the office?
Both Nautilus' office, nothing was found during the police investigation because every record had been strangely effaced. The office has a hushed, expectant air, as though it is hiding secrets and has been waiting five years for Loaf Nodler's return. Hmm. Damn it, it's so dark, this game. There wasn't this much mess the last time I was here. <sighs> it's been sealed for police investigation, but someone's been in here. Who was it? And why? There is nothing important here. It's almost empty. Right. Um, which is, uh, it's too dark to do anything. Let's, um, can we go over there? Yeah. Couldn't walk through the chair. Can we have a look at anything? Hmm. Wasn't the pictures a bit different? Look, all these things are gone. Um. Yeah, there's nothing to pick up. Ah, what's this? That's his calendar. Five years old. His mastery just. Uh, he visited some African. Oh, fuck's sake. Right, okay. Whatever. What's in the boxes? Don't know. I can't get down far enough to look. Can I get over there? Ah, what's down here? I don't know, I can't s fucking see nothing. Ah. More reading. That's the picture that was in the picture we just looked at. Earthquake hit Bergenston just after 3 a.m. Uh, the line is dead. Can we go over there? No. Go over there. Can we go anywhere? Ah, oh, right. Where's the door? Can you see the door? Ah, oh, that's the door. My house, the office, my office. Hmm. here untouched since Loth, uh, Loth went on this suspicious and sudden travel abroad five years ago in which is known he had travelled some African and Ocean and countries right what's this 
Howard has the pictures of the first police investigation. Comparing the pictures with the current condition may give him a clue. Oh, um, no wait. Uh, can we? Uh, where's the map? That's the investigation. Yeah, there's more light in this one because the damn thing in the other one. There's something different about this picture. Right. Let's go to... Where is it? That way? by the place who could have gotten in. Right. Let's see the back of it. There seems to be something in it. Okay. I need something to open it with. Right. Okay. Um... Well, I haven't got anything in the inventory, unless I use the car case. Ah. Turn it round. And I can use my car key. No. No. This won't work. Okay. There must be... Did we miss a knife? or something somewhere. Uh, have a look at the desk. Ah, what we got? A letter opener, that'll do. found in the painting's frame. I think it was put there. Right. Oh, what I want is to examine this. Can I open it? With a letter opener. No. Can I use that on that? No. 
Right, let's try again. It. To op to open it, combine it with a sharp object. Oh, nope. Yeah, where's your gun? Oh no! What have I done now? I've lost both now. Oh, where you go? This one? Right. And there's a key. Okay. So, what's this? Uh, I decided to write these notes precisely one month after I bought this house, in which I found myself lost in thought, adrift in its dim silence. I escaped the meaningless monotony of life by listening to every creak every sound the house makes. I may not write often, but I think that these notes are important. I found this house. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Uh, Alright, I'll click on this. Underlining specific words or sentences in a document may give Howard some clues. Press the underlying button. What? Alright. Okay. You know that I like to stick to the point. I'm writing this note to you because you know exactly... Uh, because you know that shortly something bad is going to happen. For about four months now. Four months. There you go. Stop now. Click the rethink button to make Howard read and think about the underlying passage. The read think. Nothing particularly interesting. Well, I thought it was because it says four months. That we haven't seen each other. And I didn't reveal my location because I knew that as long as, as I was looking after the company and keeping things in order, you won't worry about me. I will speak plainly. I know that you don't like me, and the feeling is mutual, but this is not the time for such matters. I know you don't like me. About one year ago, I bought a house in the old northern quarter. There you go. Think about that. Nothing inter what I thought was interesting. But I was living there during the gradually increasing time periods. <sighs> And we didn't speak to each other. True to my nature, mysteries of old times always attracted me much more than anything else. And you also know that I never wanted to mention my present situation, neither to you nor to anyone else. In fact, up until two months ago, I never even considered such a thing. And now, despite the inconceivable nature of the situation that I am in, I can hardly suppress my feeling of reluctance. You can call this sort of childish jealousy, but I don't care. Right now, it is impossible to tell you what has happened. If you wonder, you can acquire a little information from my notes, which I have included in this package. There is one thing I want from you. Do not go there. <laughs> and sell it in any way you can. Do this both for you and for your family's, family's honour. And don't go to the police. Oh, don't go to the police regarding this affair. Don't go whatever happens. You can find the address below. We will not meet again. The address is... Right, think and ponder. Right. That it? Oh, right. Um, I just write, decided to write the notes precisely one month after I bought this house in which I found myself lost in thought adrift in its dim silence to escape the meaning 
I escape the meaningless monotony of my life by listening to every creak and every sound the house makes. I may not write often, but I think that these notes are important. I found this house only by an astonishing coincidence. I had gotten lost in the snow-covered narrow streets of this part of the city while I was wandering. I felt in awe as I, as though I were adrift in some misty past. I woke from my wonder and strove to find the way back. That is how I came to this house. Its majestic appearance attracted my attention. For some time I wanted a place to come from, time to time. Wanted a place to come to from time to time. To listen to this, I uh, to listen to this overlooked world of the past that no one knows and where no one wants to come. I found a barely legible metal plate on the half ruined garden wall that showed the number of the house. It was covered with rust, probably as old as the house itself. Without hesitation, I recorded this number in my digital organizer, which I bought some time ago because of my increasing forgetfulness. When I inspected it from the outside, it was obvious that no one lived there at the time. I examined it in order to learn if it was for sale or not, and I can't describe my feelings when I found the person who was selling it. Later I talked to the vendor, and with a happy smile on his face, I remember he said that he had never come here before, the house had been left to his company because of a mortgage and he wanted to sell it right away and never thought that this would happen. He didn't know anything more about the house. In fact, and in fact, I, didn't, I wouldn't have cared if he had. I bought it without hesitation. There's one point that I don't want to continue without mentioning. After I bought the house, I learned that it had another admirer who introduced himself as Ivor Burgeon. Oh. There is no click on rethink button. Oh, for God's sake, I've lost it again. Oh. Um, it says to underline the passage, but there's no underline the passage button. Uh, as Ivor Burgeon, a Norwegian immigrant, judging from his appearance, it was obvious that he was a wealthy person, and I remember that he said when we first met that he was also an aspiring owner, but it seemed that he was too late. No, I am not reading all this. Click on the thing, read. Stop it. Go away. Uh, door. Where's the door? Uh, that way, I think. There. 